Hello and welcome back to Cloud Punk. So we are delivering the package for Rodriv. Uh Okay. Apparently some religious stuff. From the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. Uh, I'm not I from here. I just need to drop off a package. Yeah. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, pilgrim. Oh my god. I'm not god. a pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come <clears throat> in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch. Something jabbed me. I'm That's bleeding. what I expected. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. Why does you it matter? Are? I'm not. Alert. Alert. Forbidden oh my type God. detected. Please leave immediately. I'm just with the... But I just need to... Alert. Alert. Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine. I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. Not one of the forbidden. Take the package back to Rotliv. Yeah, you can't be exactly too trusting of. Uh... <laughs> well, I don't know. Was Maybe it a bad idea? You got a bad bounce with Panoia. Yeah. It's just surfaces as well. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. That was a very shady place. Just some. Um, uh, oh, just a garage. Very dark Those garage. Too. Let's just take this package back to Rotriv. I suppose, even though. I was paid to take it one way. Now we have pulls taking it back. Oh crap, I'm about to run out of fuel as well. Fuel warning. Fuel warning. We need to stop at a gas station. Oh, I can crap. keep going a bit longer. But if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline. What will happen then? Will we get towed? How much is this gonna cost? I started fueling at uh, 3,770, uh, give or take. Okay, that, that costs 200. So, like a totally fuel, uh, full tank costs like two, two, uh, 250 at most. Can I just shout at him? Oi! I got your package! Come to the garage! Uh, I really hope he's... Yeah, I think he's on the highest level. No! I think this is the way to go. Snake grown oh grand club. <laughs> wow that was really difficult to read. What? It's not here. Oh my god. Is there a way to get him get to him easier? Come on, snake! I need to live faster! Bring it! I need to talk to this rot rib guy. I guess I'm just gonna run around at the top level. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna be taken to him. Else, we gotta go down. Then, uh... I don't know. But I don't know why. Okay, let's let just... Go down by two. Sweet. Go up by... Yeah. Go down by two and go up by two. Something like that. Rot Riv! I hope I can just take a, a left, then another left, and we gotta be at him. At least we got a lift there. I bust up. I think Rot Riv is here. Oh ho! Hello there! Uh, just uh, going down, that would have taken uh, longer. They didn't want it. 
You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a oh. hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. <laughs> All negative. Ah, uh, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. You're well, forbidden too. Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? <laughs> what? He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, Come that's on. a bit much. He is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better. That's a good point. Oh, negative. But that wouldn't change his blood type. Maybe only temporarily. I, I su- Well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it, would, it still wouldn't change his blood type. I don't know about this. Fuck. I like to know about stuff, but I don't really know too much about blood types. Other than the, the fact that the O negative is a universal donor. And your blood type doesn't change. But I suppose if you got a infusion. Uh, could you register as the wrong blood type? I mean, that would be a very nice scenario, right? Well, I've never, never thought about that. But maybe that, that is what happened. Probably. But it wouldn't change your blood type permanently. I know that. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're going to pick up Huxley. And I'm, I'm definitely into uh, Huxley and his uh, mission. Well, not like into into Huxley, but like I like Huxley. <laughs> Turn. And these detectives usually work out pretty well in these games. Uh, well, adventure games, or like, yeah, I mean, ooh, how many things, how many I can actually think of? I mean, the, I suppose the more obvious one would be Nick Valentine, although that's Fallout 4. I know that game wasn't as warmly received by uh, role-playing game uh, fans as some other role-playing games, and I totally get that. It was more like an action role-playing game. Then for that, it was, it was decent, you know, it was, it was a decent game. But it was it was definitely not like a like a super proper RPG. If you want to play those these game these days, probably Obsidian is your best bet. Um, well, I suppose uh, CDPR. I, well, I don't know any other big studios that I can just say like, oh yeah, they're just like uh, pumping out these uh, winner every time RPG games. It, it's Obsidian, uh, and of course the Witcher games are kind of. Uh, we're playing as well, and there are other games as well, of course, like Pathfinder. Uh, that's that's really cool. Anyway, where are we landing? I love RPGs. Okay, uh, we gotta find a. But you don't really. Like, this is a very unique setting. And the the reason why Nick Valentine kind of came to my mind because you know that all also plays in the future, and he's like uh, this uh, detective. <laughs> in this game, we see two references, but I don't think uh, Nick Valentine is one of them. Uh, even if... I don't, I don't think Huxley was any, in any way inspired by him. He's, he's, he's different. Hmm, we gotta find the parking spot. Of course, most of all, we are, uh, this game is uh, seems to be inspired 
Bly, uh, Blade Runner. We see the Japanese writing everywhere. Uh, we see uh, uh, like okay, especially when it comes to Lobo's Club. Uh, a reference to the Matrix. I'm called the rabbit all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably missing a lot of references, but hey. Hey, Huxley. This had better be good, Huxley. Wait, what happened to your arm? It was a good question. How do I tell the Dane that when Raguan's goons gave me the elbow, I lost an arm? We had to get moving. <laughs> I gave them a nav point that would get us out of danger. They ripped your arm off? You have to go to Corpsec, Huxley. Raggy one, Corpsec, Peter. They were all tangled up in some complex web I couldn't untangle. But I knew one thing. If I tugged on the wrong thread, the spiders were gonna come for their lunch. What does that mean? I am sorry I said to pick him up. He is still very annoying. Quiet for now, Chemis. Huxley, you think Corpsec is involved in Pashta's disappearance? It was all connected, but I couldn't see how. Someone was lying. Raguan said I should talk to Peter, but then his gorillas ripped off my arm and threw me out of a sixth floor window. So just call Peter and ask him what's really going on. Now the client wouldn't answer my calls. I could feel the girl slip through my fingers, and if I couldn't pull her back, she'd slip through the cracks too. That's why you called me, right? You want me to take you to Peter? I wanted to tell the dame that she was right. That it, that it would be... Well, I suppose we just gotta investigate. She thought I was asking for a quick journey across town, but I was asking her for much more. I was asking her to go out on a limb for me. I was... Huxley, just this one time, please skip to the point. Cloudpunk. That was the name of the company the dame worked for. They had some serious resources. Vehicles, contacts with society both high and low, and an up-to-date address list of almost everyone living in Nivalis. Oh no. Huxley, that could get me fired. If we are just asking, maybe we won't get in trouble. Camus, you didn't want us to help Huxley in the first place. I have been thinking more about things. About automata and what we do. And? We need to help each other. Help what? each other be better. Like saving a little girl. Everything is so complicated in the city. You do something and it is a bit good, but a bit bad too. But saving the little girl is only good. I, I can't explain it very well. No, it's fine. I get it. It's nice to help people when you can, but I'm responsible for both of us, Camus. If I get fired, I can't even keep you in the Hava. Never mind find you a new body. I understand. I still want to help find Pashta. I didn't want to impose on... Quiet, both of you. I have to make a call. Control, this is driver 14... This is Rania. I need to ask for a favor. I read you, driver. What do you need? I need an address. I don't think I'm understanding you. We don't have a new job for you yet. Um, there's no packages right now, but if you give it half an hour... This isn't really about work. I need a personal favor. I just need you to give me someone's address. You uh, know this someone? Not really. Look, I know it's a big ask. You, you ain't joking. Uh, you're asking me to share private info. I could uh, get deleted. Deleted? Fired. I could get fired. Uh, you want to tell me what this is all about? A girl is missing. The less details you know, the better, right? I just need this one favor, Control. It's important to me. I don't uh, want to hear any more about this, 14FC. I'm signing off. Control, wait. Her name is Pashta. She's alone, probably scared, Come taken on. from her family. This has got nothing to do with us, Rania. I could have been that little girl. That's why I oh, have to on. help. Growing up, the debt corpse could have taken me away from my mom. But every time, she somehow came up with the money. It was close. Don't you get it? Look, Rania, this isn't a normal favor. 
What if it was your little girl? You don't want to go there. I can't. Look, it's one address. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Peter Unthrink. That's the name. Just hang up, then send us the address. I'll never ask for anything like this again. Control out. I am nervous. That was tense. Yeah, I wasn't sure he would... We got a nav point. The dame really came through. Yeah. I didn't like that approach. Motion man manipulating control into giving me what I want. Not something I'm comfortable with. I suppose it was effective. Here's what I can offer you today. Uh, pff, I Thanks. don't care. I look forward to seeing you again. More packages? I didn't see so many packages when I landed. Also, I wanna have a chat with some people, I suppose. A lot of Evelyn punch cards here. Artyom. Excuse me, I can't help but notice you have an artificial hand. Maybe you can help me find someone. Yeah? Who are you looking for? <laughs> what is that someone logic? who lost a hand? I found this in the trash. <laughs> well, I think you got the wrong guy, yes? I got this beauty last week. Pure titanium. Don't want no flesh. I'm going the other way. Did you go to the limb clinic? How would I find someone who had lost a hand? They're not supposed to just throw these away, right? Don't know. Don't care <laughs> about flesh, to be honest, lady. Damn it. You really want to help? Maybe let me see. I know the body mod squad around this way. Maybe I can get it back to them. Some mothers like to keep their old flesh. Here it is. Well, damn! This is mine! Seriously? Yeah, it has my ring on it. They said they was gonna donate it to someone. Can I have it back? Sure. Oh no, I don't want to touch that. Can you just take the ring off and give it to me? I guess. Ew, here you go. Thanks, lady. You can keep the hand. Great. Have some limbs, too, as a reward like. I really love this ring. What? Okay. He could have just lied about it. It was it was definitely a weird interaction. Okay, we have one person we can chat with. And we're gonna have that, then we're gonna go to Peter. Ooh, the engineer guy. Didn't you retire? Engineer, are you ever going to tell me your name? Sure. Call me a uh, painter. You've given up then? You know, for a while there, I really thought I was onto something. I followed a lead down to the vents. I didn't expect to find all these people. What was the lead? An old master control program. I found a data cable that stretched out of the city. It led there. What did it lead to? Nothing. I'd hoped to find some old rogue mainframe spitting out garbage to the main infrastructure subsystems. Maybe it would be as simple as turning it off, then on again. It wasn't that simple? <laughs> Nothing ever is. What will you do now? The city needs people who are trying to make things better. I know. And I, I might go back to work. I just... I can't see another disaster and feel that weight on my shoulders. Could I have stopped it? Did I cause it? <laughs> it's, it's too much. I understand. See you around, painter. See you around, driver. Such thinking is a bit pointless. You can only act in the present again. I suppose you don't want to be causing accidents all the time and be oblivious to it. So calmly uh, examining. The situation is reasonable. You from the east, lady? Now with feeling though. I don't know if these drugs do anything. Thanks. You folks from the east are good with me, but no sec. 
Okay. Do you might want to chat with some merchants? I got some money. Not sure what would I do with it. So. Oh, excellent. So we're heading toward the mission and hopping in the garage. I am receiving an order way. to stop by Corpsec. Are you sure it's Corpsec? I don't see anyone. The signal is from close by, but I don't know where exactly. It seems like Corpsec, but there is no incident number. They normally send an incident number. This is Corpsec. You're speaking to Agent Rio. We have reason to believe you are harboring a known criminal, rogue android Huxley. Rio again? Why are you following us? Is this personal? You are currently breaking the law. Corpsec requires you to turn in your passenger and surrender yourself to... Camus, you said the signal is close by. I don't think this Rio is on official business. Is he affecting any of your systems? No. If we drive, we could get out of his range. You have 60 seconds to comply. If he's not really Corpsec, I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. I don't really have the choice to even turn him over. And I don't really want to. Can, can we just talk to Huxley? He's, he's in the car, right? What do you know about this? Well, he failed to provide any, uh, any proof that he is actually who he says he is. This is actually a, a good question. If I, if a police officer, seemingly a police officer, stops you and tries to arrest you, and would you would you just say like, hey, yeah, sure, let's do that? What if it turns out that police officer was just a serial killer and now you're super fucked and you're going to get murdered? Like, that's probably the easiest way to get someone. Maybe not the easiest, though. You know what? Fine. Arrest us. We'll talk to Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't warn you again. He has that disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the <laughs> hottest flavors. Caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. <laughs> Cyborgs ate my babies three. Is that a real movie? <laughs> Yes. Better be. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on calm. It's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater. But if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, 
That neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Okay. Uh, so let's have a chat. And of course, we're gonna go into the theater. Seems like uh, I'm gonna have enough punch cards to uh, uh, progress Evelyn's mission again. Although I'm not sure I should. Hey, Block 40, are you still fighting the system? Hey, it's Cowpunk. Damn right we are. We're fucking this shit up. How exactly are you fucking this shit up? We're making a motherfucking playground, dog. You know, I don't think I've ever heard any other gangs that talk quite like you do. What's the matter, Cloud Punk? Our speech too fresh for ya? <laughs> um, no. Did you watch a lot of old movies, maybe? It ain't about what we say we're gonna do. It's about what we do and how we do it. No, that's... I guess so. I can't believe you're making a playground. The corps don't want the kids playing no more. We ain't gonna let them take our swings. You got a problem with that, Cloud Punk? With you making a playground for kids? No, I think it's kind of amazing. You hear that, Razor? She thinks I'm amazing. You're all right, Cloud Punk. You ever get yourself a small human, you bring them here to play in the swings. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Here's what I can offer you. It's a good way to describe having a baby. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. <sighs> Merchant, show me what you got. <clears throat> what are you looking for? Under net glasses. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime. Alright, I don't know about that, but hey. <clears throat> Warrior round seven. So, we can take this tunnel. Where am I? Suppose this tunnel takes over me over there, this tunnel takes me over there. But that's not where we are going. We have to go through this corpse sec. Good evening, ma'am. We've okay. got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. Yeah, I saw so that. So we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neural augments sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. You believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. What happened and don't to let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in this zone. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> Good job, Huxley. At least he didn't fuck it up. Did he actually manually check my records? Because it doesn't seem like it. He just got lost in trot, uh, thought in uh, with chat. Chatting to me. Okay, so let's pick up some uh, punch cards, I suppose. battery it would have been really hard to find this guy 
But we don't know how old this uh, Pasha is, right? I mean, how old is she? Is she 14? Is she 8? Is she 35? I mean, daughter doesn't really uh, mean young. They have to be uh, a child, right? Even if she's a teenager, I mean, I, I hurt, I hurt his dad. Running away wouldn't be completely unjustified. Even if you're, even if it puts your uh, survival in question. Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called. The hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley. So this was the client. I had pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit. But instead, I was looking at a greasy looking. Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. <laughs> it's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the Corpsec agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. This is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. Okay, so I suppose this uh, mission will progress some other time. <clears throat> One for sure, this girl is hiding for a reason. Or girl, woman. So it was all bullshit. Okay. Do I want to take the tunnel? Okay, I'm not there. I'm here. And there's nothing here. Okay, let's we'll just go to the car. Sweet. Run fast. That's a lesson for you. If you if you just uh, want to run fast, then eat candy bars. And if you're not running fast enough, then eat another candy bar. So good lesson for you. Uh, of course, really applies. Okay, uh, some mission? I guess I can go get some fuel. Hey, uh, kid, I need you to know this next job. It's not personal, okay? It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um, we're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsec have uh, set up a perimeter. Maybe I can loot while he's talking. <clears throat> but Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So I'm a taxi now. Uh, more like.
like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. What? An ambulance. Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. Ooh. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find, but make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. <laughs> so at least one rich asshole. Eh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your half shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. Okay, another moral choice. Wow. Okay. So, I can only save three people. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. Alright, we gotta hurry. So, do I just save? Free. I have. I, I can only say free people. Mr. Octavius Butler? <laughs> Wait. How do I say that I, I'll take them? GN? Hi, how are you? I am good. Thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so shiny. I am 18 hours old. And I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. <laughs> so, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then, they were rolling, then twitching, then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak, and you were the only one left? Yes. They didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner, and my market value will be far less. Mm. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. Usually, for at least 10 years. Wow. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only done 12 different things so far. But helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. I suppose I have to listen to their stories, then eventually have to decide. Um, okay. I mean, this guy is basically like a baby. Not exactly like a baby, but... What if what if babies were just... You straight up got like an adult. Maybe we're gonna get to that in the future. 
I suppose you wouldn't have the same emotional attachment because even people like people people just love animals for example and they love babies because we have this wired in us that you know you see that and like oh oh so nice and people just like go crazy about cats and dogs and other cutesies because we're wired to just like babies if we if we weren't wired then like fuck that right but uh, yeah, that's how a lot of people are wired, and I don't know about this guy. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm definitely on the part of saving him if he have space. But maybe he's not the top priority. So, I mean, save uh, most of all. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would save everyone because if if I could just take everyone, like who would I not take? It's like some kind of like mass murderer. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr... I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic, neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO, wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. What? You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management in corps. Wow. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking, being a savage, originality. That's completely meaningless. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. <laughs> uh, is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Wow. Oh, God. I should go. The self-importance and the delusion. <laughs> I mean, I guess that guy has money. So, so far, Android goes over that guy. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? Yes, ma'am. There's not many of us Mark 8s left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat, rat wars? wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first... They grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis, scurrying down corridors in swarms. Hundreds of them. Millions. Big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. Wow. It, it is just really difficult to order people based on the likelihood you would save them. But would we take this veteran guy? So far, I suppose I have to take the veteran at the top. The, the only problem I have is that the android doesn't seem to have really a purpose in life. He is he's barely sentient. Well, I suppose he's sentient, but he's just... I mean... He just doesn't have a purpose. The other guy is just its just a waste of space. The the rich guy. He's, he's useless. It's all about title. He's just like, he got money and like, he's completely useless. And, uh... I don't know if he's... I don't know. I guess he fits in. 
I suppose. But he definitely has money, and I guess I gotta take someone. We only have... We, uh, seems like we gotta pick uh, three out of six. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, sorry about that. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit, and that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No, I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers are worse than no answers. Eh? What will you do when you get I out? I like you. Drink some vodka. Phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him. Ah. But he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Oh. Do okay. you, will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. It doesn't matter though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. Damn. <sighs> I mean, can, can you even order people? What? What? The game just gives me an impossible Hi, choice, I suppose. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the interns. Who cares about Blaine? Do you Blaine? work in a lab? I own the lab, and no, none of us could have predicted that... Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Okay. He wasn't completely unpleasant, even though his... It was all about, oh, it's not my fault. It doesn't matter. Right? Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's good to see you, miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. 
But don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear, get going quickly now. Well, I wouldn't want to get in the way of uh, Mr. Octavius Hello. Butler saving you. it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose. I think. Okay. GM is an android. So he does have a chance of maybe surviving this toxic gas. Also, he doesn't have much of an identity at this point. So for that reason, I think he should stay. He should stay. And uh, I mean, in a way, he wouldn't be such a big loss. No one cares about him. He's just, he's just going to be wiped. Does his uh, first day of existence matter? Quincy Sharp, uh, this guy is uh, is not much of a person. He just like he just he's not he's nothing. He's nothing. He he's just <laughs> I don't know what what to say about him. Uh, of course, I shouldn't be judging him so much based on one conversation, but he just like oh look at my titles, self important and just like talking bullshit. He literally said nothing. I mean, I, I was trying to just filter what he was saying. Basically, someone, but well, he was giving money, and he has no identity of his own. So, in a way, he's 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 less of a person than the android who actually have some self awareness. So, Quincy Sharp, I think you're just gonna stay behind. Uh, surgeon came. Uh, I. I mean. The only problem with Surgeon Kim I have is that he's not really looking forward to life at this point. I mean, I, I suppose no one... Yeah, I, I suppose that would be my, my biggest uh, uh, problem with him, that he's not really looking forward to life. He's just like, you know, he just like... He, he was once something and now he's just getting by. He's, he's not really looking forward to so anything in life. Or at least, apparently, based on one conversation. But other than that, he just seems like a normal guy. Dr. Ucho, uh, I think we bonded, although she was uh, pretty impassionate when we, she was speaking, but also very reasonable. So I, I think she should be taken. I mean, she's also a human and she's uh, looking forward to life. Seems like a, a reasonable choice. Uh, Professor Allison, uh, other than the fact that he was uh, eager to shift blame and uh, maybe he's responsible for the entire accident because uh, it is his club. I think for that alone, maybe the captain should sink with his ship, but I, I don't know that information at this point. Out of the rich people, he certainly seemed to be the the least annoying one. Although this is a very tricky thing to do. Also, I have to make a decision between... Uh, well, I, I suppose age-wise, Professor Allison is just old. But does that matter? Can 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 humans extend their lifespan, and can humans become androids? Even if even if they can, that doesn't mean necessarily that Professor Edison wants to do that. Maybe he's just gonna die in five years. So, should that be a decision? Should that be a part of it? Like, should I be saving Ellison here? With that reason alone, should I save the android because he's gonna live for hundreds of years? Is that a consideration? Like, what kind of criteria I can use to? Uh, just to compare people, Should, is it just simply like uh, how, how many years they're gonna have? Like, how is that fair? I mean, this is... <sighs> Out of the rich people, because it seems like we gotta take one rich person at least. Professor Ellison seemed the most reasonable one. I mean, obviously, like, in a way, like, if you just say like, oh, it's, it's not my responsibility, in a way we are just like saving free, but you can also look at it like we are killing free. I mean, I think that's a lot more difficult choice. If you're like, oh, who would you rather see or who would you rather kill here? And uh, Miss Octavius Butler... <sighs> she's very annoying. Very annoying, looks down on people. She's super unpleasant. Like, I mean, 
she does have someone who cares about her, at least. We know that. But she's super annoying. I think I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling. Even though this is this is just pretty hard to uh, talk about. We're gonna take Professor Ellison as the, the rich guy. Professor, I can get you out of here. Do you want to come with me? Really? Why? Am I under arrest? What? No. I'm can just a yes delivery no? driver with a rescue subcontract. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. Why didn't you say? Get me out of here. Before everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault, some might wrongly attribute this whole disaster to me. Whatever. I'll see you at the checkpoint in two minutes. Be ready to leave. Yeah, I don't know. It's possibly his fault because he's responsible for... I mean, it's not necessarily his fault though, you know? Like, stuff happens all the time. Just because it happened to your uh, establishment, that doesn't mean you were responsible for it. You, know, like, you, you may have done everything right and, you know, it wasn't your fault. So, I, I think I, I don't really see the point in playing the blame game in the first place, but out of the rich people, he seemed to be the most reasonable of them. But out of the non-rich people, I think Dr. Ochoa uh, is the one I, that I like the most. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. I mean, if you're saving someone, uh, just... Uh, just for, for being a good person, I think Dr. Ochoa should be the one, because she came here, apparently, and uh, she was she was literally begging me to, to take her, like, she didn't even know. She came here to help her patients, and uh, she's kind of working for the future, she has a purpose in life, although, I mean, ex-husbands, I suppose, she doesn't necessarily have anyone who cares about her, necessarily, or at least not the ex-husband, I, I suppose she's a bit of a loner, at least that was indicated, but... That doesn't mean uh, her... That's that just this part of her story. That doesn't mean like, oh, right now, what's relevant? Uh, Miss Octavius Butler, she will just uh, keep being unpleasant. Uh, this guy doesn't have much of a life. And uh, the android doesn't have a life started yet. And Surgeon Kim is not really looking forward to anything. So, the last choice is hard. Do we take someone who has... Do, do, do we take Octavius Butler, who at least has someone who cares about them? And Surgeon King also has uh, buddies who care about him. This guy is just a total waste of space. I don't know what to say about him. I mean... He disappears and no one will notice. Seemingly. This guy also disappears, no one will care, no one will notice. Does one day of experience matter? I would argue, uh, I mean, you might be even better off just not remembering this start in life. I think I'm just gonna take, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna take Sergeant Kane here. Sergeant, I have a vehicle. I can get you back to your friends. Do you want to come with me? Sure, mom, why not? The boys will oh, be he's worried an android. about me. I mean, maybe, maybe oh, not. They'll have cashed out all my poker chips because they think I'm dead already. Either way, we better hurry. I'll see you by the checkpoint in a minute. I took two old guys. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. That was more tense than the roach walls of 08. Thanks for springing me, Mom. I owe you. Now you do. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. <laughs> Fucking you got me. What a jerk. Yeah, but can I make that decision? Can I make that, that choice? It's like, oh yeah, this guy definitely knew. If you're not saving him... Oh fuck, he get, got away with the lying big time. But at this point, it's just... <laughs> not much we can do. 
Why, why would he admit though? What's the point in admitting? He see, feels so powerful and untouchable now that he's out of that situation. Um, what? Drive the survivors to corpse sack? Well, okay then. I guess we could have uh, re rescued the worthless guy at least. Hey, we got. We are getting a call. We got the guys. It is Huxley again. What should I do? Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? The dame was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. <laughs> I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's it for now. See you next time.